Hi. Hi. Can I give you one of these? cloudy out here today. The clouds are really low and it's very it's very windy out. Five, three, one. I'm starting my um, pilgrimage today from Niagara Falls. What's your name? Uh, my name is Jenny Stewart. Hi Jenny. And Hi. do I get permission to film you? Yes. Alright, and your dog's name is? This is Howie. Howie. Hi yes. Howie. Howie's How are you? Howie's in a shelter, so we've had him for a couple months now. Hi. And he's so well adjusted. He's amazing. Yes. I have a card here I'd like to give to you. It's um... Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's uh... about um, Rape of the Wild Foundation Inc. <laughs> You want to walk with me a little? Sure, yeah. Because you know, if I ask people right on the website uh -huh. if they're interested, then they can walk along with me. Is this faux fur or is it real fur? It's faux fur. Um, made in China. I don't know, is that real fur or not? Because I don't know. I... Oh, that would be fake. No, oh, that's fake. I can guarantee you that. I know that for sure. Where's the little uh, tag on that? All new material. Bless Fest is a, a thing that's coming up in September. And what the bill will do is it will make awareness uh, by having requiring labeling that if you're going to import uh, or, or sell at retail level yeah. uh, uh, any product with animal, um, uh, in particular cat and, and dog uh, fur, that it needs to be provided that information to the consumer. And um, how long do you think it will take before your bill does uh, come forward? Like what happens is that every year um, uh, in our new parliament, I should say, when we reconvene, we're putting on a lottery system. Now, I was receiving as an elected parliamentarian a lot of videos, so I shoved it on a shelf and didn't look at it for a few weeks. But one day I took it down when I was clearing some stuff from the shelf and I was kind of intrigued by the photograph on the front of the box. And what I saw then in the next 20 minutes absolutely appalled me. You saw this dog being tied by wires. He then slit an artery underneath its leg. The dog was screaming in pain as he began to bleed it to death. He then hung the dog uh, over the top of the railings and started skipping it. And as he got to pulling the entire skin of the dog over its head, you could see the dog was still blinking. Are you aware of uh, cat and dog fur and raccoon dog fur being imported into Canada? 
Are they doing it today? Yeah, yeah sure. sure. What about raccoon dog for I understand? I have seen horrible examples of this in real life with my own eyes. And I've seen some of these skinned bodies trying to climb out of the pile and run away. The blood and the steam rising off their skinned bodies. Mums and dads buy toys like this to give to their children because they love cats and dogs. They don't realize that a cat has been killed and perhaps skinned alive to make this. These items have all been DNA tested and are actually made from cat skin. I mean, the Chinese, for whom this was a massive market, to have America and then the whole of the European Union closed to their cat and dog skins left a huge vacuum which they were determined to fill. Canada is also a major market for Chinese cat and dog skins. We always, throughout our campaign, we always had problems with Canada because of the nervousness that any potential ban on cat and dog fur would end up leading to a ban on seal skins. Map seven. How many more maps to go before I get to Toronto? Two. people do you have full, uh, employed here full-time through government grants? Uh, three. Have you ever heard of dog and cat fur being imported into Canada? No. The government is allowing dog and cat fur to be imported into Canada. Oh, wow. They've gone domestic now. It's bad enough wildlife, but now it's domesticated? Wow. Like I said, we're, we're against the fur trade of animals. She's doing pretty good. You don't get paid for this work at all, do you? No, I don't. I love animals. I love helping people. I'm, I get more out of it than money, you know what I mean? Cats and dogs are seen as companion animals, and in fact dogs much more so as animals that can uh, leap the blind and, you know, work for the security services. So you're legally able to sign this. Yeah. Would you be interested in signing? You heard what I said to him. I did. Would you be interested in signing this petition? The owner of this factory in Austria came to see me in my office in Strasbourg in France and he said to me, you're going to make me banker. I have three warehouses each the size of a football pitch stuffed from floor to ceiling 